Good morning, Aaron, and thanks for speaking with us. Can you tell us how did this happen? Good morning, Jackie. Uh, yeah, this is a, this is a, a situation where um, best of intentions didn't really work out. Um, uh, a competitor of ours, a company called CrowdStrike, issued a, uh, an update to a piece of software that they use to protect uh, computers out there on the internet, computers and servers and a lot of the cloud infrastructure that everybody depends on. Uh, that patch, unfortunately, was released on Friday when everybody is busy. Um, that's usually something to avoid, although in this case, they may not have been able to avoid it. The problem is that that patch kind of broke every computer that it touched. And uh, unfortunately, the fix is a very manual one. It's something you actually have to walk up to a computer to do, which uh, as a kind of older computer guy, uh, that's something we haven't had to deal with since the 90s. So uh, it's, uh, it, it's quite a problem, actually. It's, uh, it's not a cybersecurity attack, um, but it's a result of the cybersecurity war for sure. Tell us just how widespread was this? How many people, companies, industries were affected? Well, it's again, kind of a good news, bad news. The good news is that a lot of the companies that were uh, affected are companies that take cybersecurity pretty seriously. Uh, so a lot of um, uh, nationally and globally, we're hearing a lot of airlines. Um, we're hearing uh, a variety of different kinds of infrastructure. Um, healthcare seems to have been fairly affected. I can tell you that locally, um, the clients that, that we work with um, that actually run CrowdStrike, um, and there, there aren't a ton, um, but they, uh, uh, they have been down all morning long. We've been kind of inundated with, with phone calls. So yeah, it's a, it's a pretty broad impact. Yeah, and tell us more specifically about any local impacts we're seeing here in Eastern Iowa. Uh, unfortunately, Jackie, I can't comment on specific clients, uh, but I can tell you that the, 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 the companies that we support in the area seem to be handling the situation pretty well. I think this will be a one or two day problem, but it's a really good canary in the coal mine. Like this is good exercise for us uh, to do disaster recovery and um, emergency response. Um, this isn't game day. Uh, I don't think that big cybersecurity attack has happened, um, but it's good practice. And in that good practice, what are some things people should do and prepare for maybe the next time this happens? Yeah, this one in particular is tough because it's a, it's a pretty core piece of software. Um, there are alternatives to, to that specific piece of software, but in general, um, I think keeping uh, things, just the fundamentals when it comes to cybersecurity, um, two-factor authentication, make sure that you back your stuff up. Um, both of those things uh, will make you more difficult to, to attack than uh, the guy that's just up the street. Those are the basics for, for any, any individual as far as companies are concerned. Um, working with organizations that can help them through these kinds of challenges. This is a time when you need friends. So reaching out to find uh, companies that can help them with, uh, uh, with times like this is pretty important. If you don't have it, it's a good opportunity to sort of realize that and fix that problem. So the next time there's an issue, you can handle it. We all know how important the internet is. And can you tell us just in scale, how unusual is it to have something like this happen? Uh, this is uh, this is pretty unusual. The the out uh, uh, the um, sorry. This is uh, this is pretty unusual. The uh, the the effect of this one is pretty broad. Um, so this is one of those things that's going to happen on the internet maybe two, three, four times a year. Um, but uh, this is um, uh, it, it's pretty much an, an outlier. All right, Aaron. Thank you so much for speaking with us today. Thank you, Jackie.